What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jerry, and today's video will be on the Phoenix Suns, and we're just gonna be talking about how they look like, how they looking like a championship team, and what's making them, you know, build this championship DNA. And we gonna jump right into this video, and I think the first thing we gotta talk about is Devin Booker. And I feel like Devin Booker in these playoffs, we um, through the first round and, and, and game one in Denver, he's shown that he can he can elevate in, in big moments. You look at him game one against the Lakers, 34 points um, pin on the show, and then game six against the Lakers, um, a closeout game against LeBron James. Even though LeBron James, you know, he, he was you know injured, but still LeBron. So a closeout game against you know arguably the greatest player of all time. And in a game in a game six at the Staples Center, and you know he goes out and gets 33, I think 33 at half and 47 on the game. And that whole game he was just cold blooded, a cold blooded killer, bro. So, you know a stone a stone cold look on his face, and he's just he, he's, he, this is his first playoff, his first um you know this is his first playoff run, and he's just looking like he's been there before. So, I think um, <laughs> when you got a player like that. It's dangerous in the playoffs, so you know, you know that's that's Devin Booker, and then we gotta look at CP3. Um, I think CP3, um, you know, we gotta give a huge, you know, round of applause for him, you know, and just you know, out of you know, give him a, a huge, a huge, um, huge debt of gratitude for, you know, what he fought through with that that shoulder injury. They said he had a shoulder contusion, and for that Lakers series, you could tell. You know, he was, you know, he was really, you know, he was really painful. You know, there were some games where he, he, you know, he could only play like 20 minutes, 21 minutes. And then, you know, second half, he was, he was done for. He was out for the, for the rest of the game. So to see him come out in game six and help him uh, um, against the Lakers, help his team win, just be out there, just to be motivational. You know, when you do stuff like that and motivate your team, it makes them want to try harder because he could have, he could have easily just, you know, sat out them games, but, he led by example, you know, he show he gon' he gonna put it all on the court. So he want his teammates to go out there and lay it all on the line with him. And that's what they did, man. You, you know, so you know, SCP three and then game one, game one against the Nuggets last night, <laughs> nothing short of sensational, bro. Twenty he had twenty um twenty plus points and he had ten assists. Really put on the show. Um and I saw an interesting stat. He became the oldest player, not the oldest, but um, he joined John Stockton and Steve Nash as the only um, 36 year olds to get a um, a 20 and 10 game in, in the you know in the playoffs. So Chris Paul he had a historical night last night, and you know it's just good to see it's it's good to see that he fought through that shoulder injury and you know he persevered and now he's good. He ready to. Um, and I think that's a good sign too because it seemed like Chris Paul always gets hurt in the playoffs. And I feel like the Suns, you know, they, they dodged the bullet already. It happened in the first round. So I'm expecting Chris Paul to stay healthy for the remainder of the playoffs. And I really hope he do. So and the next the next guy we're looking at is DeAndre Ayton. Uh, we we are watching DeAndre Ayton get better and better every game. He evolved right in front of our eyes. And DeAndre Ayton I think right before the season ended, he faced off against um, against the Lakers against Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis went for like for like 42, I think, in whatever he want. And then um, so in Game One of the playoffs, DeAndre Ayton first his first ever playoff his first ever um, playoff game. He goes and he goes and get a, like I don't know, yeah, like a, a 20 point double double. And only missed one shot, and he made he made it really tough on AP on Anthony Davis. Um, game one, Anthony Davis had a really um, a really terrible game, and um, and he made he made <coughs> DeAndre Ayton made AD go in. You know, he made him go and re reevaluate himself, and made him you know get up longer shots in the gym. And you know he he made AD work for his buckets. AD had a great game two and three, and he ended up. Um, you know, getting hurt. But anyways, we're talking about DeAndre Ayton. But DeAndre Ayton is getting like, he's getting better and better every game. He's down there blocking shots. He's down there rebounding. He's just been a presence. He's been a presence on both end of both ends on the floor. Um, on offense, he's pretty athletic for his size, and he got a soft touch, which is which is nice. He can hit 20, 15, 20, 15 feet jump shots, and he's just a he's just he's just getting better and better every game. He's so efficient. 
I think in the Lakers series, he shot like 88% from the field, 89%. And then um, last um, last night against Denver, he was just being energetic, you know, like third play of the game, slammed it on Michael Porter Jr., you know, got the crowd into it. So, you know, that's, <clears throat> you know, he's he's getting better and better right in front of our eyes. And then you're looking at uh, Michael Bridges, you know, a player you would want on the championship team. You know, he, you know, he's, his three ball was falling last night. You know, he's hitting big shots in the playoffs. And not only is he hitting big shots, he's playing defense. He's making it tough on perimeter players um, like LeBron James. He, he was making LeBron work harder. And I think Michael Bridges, I think the sky's the limit for him. I don't think he's nowhere near his, his full potential. And he's gonna continue to get better. And even though I just named all those players, I think what's been most, I think what's impressed me the most about the Phoenix Suns is their role players. Um, their role players like Cam Johnson, um, Michael Bridges, he's kind of a role player. He, you know, he's not really more of like, you know, in that star role yet. So him, um, who I say, Jay Crowder, Michael Bridges, um, Cameron Payne, Cam Johnson. Um, these guys have been hitting big shots all throughout the playoffs. Um, you look at Cameron Johnson, um, really. Yeah, if it wasn't for Cameron Johnson, I don't think I don't think the Suns, you know, I don't think they I don't think they get by the Lakers or or you know it, it might have went seven. But if you look at you look at you look at Cam Johnson, in one of them games he had a he, he had a great game. He had like I don't I can't remember what how many points he had. I should look, but you know he he was going crazy. He stepped up big in that series with Chris Paul being hampered. And you know he just came out on the floor and he was he was effective. He was able to score the ball, create for others, and you know that was just huge. And then Cam Johnson, um, you know he's hit big shots. Jay Crowder hit big shots, and <laughs> it was Game Six. Game Six when every time, every time the Lakers, every time the Lakers were you know were closing in on uh, making the lead single digits or getting it down to five or six points, the, the Phoenix Suns. They hit some big threes, you know. Jay Cowher hit a three. Cam Johnson hit a three. So, you know, the Lakers. I mean, the Suns got a really good, a really good um, core of role players, and something that's something you need to win a championship. So, you know, and you're looking at that, and you look at them um, game one against uh, the Nuggets last night. It was kind of close. It was close all the way up into the fourth quarter, and then it was like the Phoenix Suns just flipped a switch defensively. It was like a point where they got like. Three straight, um, three straight steals. The crowd was into it, and um, Devin Booker, you know, he, he sealed the deal. He ended up with 21 points. Chris Paul ended up with 21, and they just they, I didn't, I knew they was, I knew they was good on, you know, I knew they was a good defensive team. But the way they turned on that switch last night, I'm like, man, that's that's championship defense right there. And Chris Paul is a little pit bull. Um, Cameron Payne was being a little pit bull, so. You know this Phoenix Suns team, man. I think they're gonna be they're gonna be da they, they're dangerous. You know they're they're a really good team. Their role coach Monty Williams doing a great job. So and then um, it's like it's like Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton. They get they getting better and better every game. They starting to get used to this to this playoff vibe. So you know um, the Phoenix Suns are gonna be fun to watch throughout the rest of these playoffs. Um, we gonna see how far they can go. I think they, I think each and every game they build a championship pedigree. Even though um, Chris Paul is not a NBA champion, he's a champion, you know, he's a, you know, he's a champion at life. So, um, you know, this team, like I said, they're gonna be fun to watch. Can't wait to see game two of them in Denver, man. But that's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed, um, leave a like. Comment down below how far do you think Phoenix can go in the playoffs. And if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel, man, for weekly content. Uh, we, up at, we, up, we upload once a week, twice a week, three times. Sometimes maybe four, man. But, you know, you're going to get a video every week. So, and that's curtains.